Hey guys, the November 5th general election is almost here, and I'm Ben Dore, Executive Director for Minnesota Gun Rights, and you've got a couple of candidates running in House District 18A. This is the kind of North Mankato, further north of Mankato and off to the west a little bit. This is your area, guys. If you live there and you care about the Second Amendment, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this, all right? We're talking about your candidates and where they stand on Second Amendment issues. In particular, we've been getting a lot of phone calls from gun owners in 18A asking, you know, we know that Jeff Brand, current Democrat, State Representative Jeff Brand, is running for re-election, and what exactly did he do to our gun rights when he was in St. Paul. And so I'm gonna do a very short video breaking down Jeff Brand's history on the Second Amendment. So tag along, when you're done, share this with your family and friends. And when you go out to vote on November 5th, vote pro-gun. Or if you do early voting, which is fun, go ahead and do that, vote pro-gun there as well. All right, let's jump in, I'll take you along. So we have Jeff Brand running for re-election. The first thing you need to know about Jeff is that he is endorsed by Bloomberg's personally funded Moms Demand Action Gun Control Group, all right? So he's endorsed by Bloomberg. Second, and now we're gonna jump right into the votes he's taken, and then we'll talk about the votes that he may take in the future, all right? So the first thing he voted for was red flag gun confiscation laws in 2023. This was Senate file 2909. He voted for this bill, does not save lives. It's used, it's unconstitutional and used very badly to hurt a lot of people. But he voted for it anyway, knowing it was unpopular. Next, he voted for the next law that we're living under now, statewide gun registration, we call it, it's a de facto gun registry, but it's done through the universal background checks bill that was passed requiring every single firearms transfer, every single one, if you're gonna let your buddy borrow a shotgun to go to the shooting range, gotta transfer that firearm. He voted for this bill knowing full well that out of the shootings that have happened in our country, um, either the person has gone through a background check successfully and did it anyway, or they're bypassing the background check system altogether. And so what's happening here instead is we're getting a de facto gun registry. If everybody has to run their gun through the NICS, the National Instant Background Check System, what we're getting is, is a de facto registry of guns and gun owners. And so that was also in Senate file 2909. And then Last year, last but not least, he voted for forced gun lockups. Every gun, everywhere, doesn't matter if you're a 60-year-old bachelor living out in the mountains, in the hills, amongst the trees, doesn't matter, you've got to lock all of your guns in a safe all the time, whether you like it or not. Don't like it, don't wanna, don't wanna lock them in a gun safe that Jeff Brand has to approve of? Well, you're going to jail for it. Meanwhile, over in the Senate, now this bill did not become law because over in the Senate, Democrats in the Senate said, this bill is unenforceable, ridiculous. We trust the voters in our district to handle these things well and we're not forcing this legislation through. The Minnesota Senate didn't even bring the bill up for a vote. That's how ridiculous Democrats in the Senate thought the bill was, but Jeff Brand thought it was friggin' great. Now, if you go to his website, you'll notice he has a whole section titled, My Accomplishments, right? Legislative Accomplishments. He's got all kinds of different bills listed there and all kinds of different topics, but he doesn't mention the two that pass, red flag laws, universal gun registration. He might put it on there now, now that I've mentioned it, but he knows these were deeply unpopular bills. He voted for them anyway, and now he's trying to pretend it didn't happen. But it did, and gun owners know it. So if he goes back to St. Paul, uh, the number one issue that the DFL is trying to pass is an AR-15 ban. Well, it's not an AR-15 ban. They call it an assault weapons ban. What it is is a ban on 
200 different commonly owned firearms, hunting rifles, things like that. So they call it an assault weapons ban, these weapons of war. It's anything but. These are the most common rifles in America. It's the number one bill they're trying to pass, and he will support this legislation if, it pa if, uh, if they bring it up on the floor of the House. He supports a magazine ban. Everybody's talking about this up there at the Capitol. They want to ban standard capacity magazines. Bye-bye to your 30-round mags. Bye-bye to your 10-round, to your 20-round mags. Bye-bye to your 10-round mags. So they want to outlaw, again, de facto, a bunch of pistols that don't have seven-round magazines. If you can't put a 10-round magazine in the gun, then the gun won't even work. They're trying to ban this ban these magazines, and why? Why? All right, the last thing he's trying to support up there, and this is, this is big. Now, there's different, there's different types of ammo registration. Um, there's also straight-up ammo bans. Attorney General Keith Ellison is calling for the full-blown ban of 5.56 or .223 ammo. It's the most common rifle round I think in the world, probably, certainly in America. And so if they can't get it banned, they're going to require ammo registration. Every single time you go and buy a container of BBs for your BB gun, every time you go and buy a box of 22 shells or shotgun shells because you're going pheasant hunting or you're going out um, skeet shooting, they're going to make you register that box of ammo with the government so they know exactly how much ammo you have bought. Don't like it? You're going to jail. At the end, what this comes down to is Jeff Brand. Representative Jeff Brand is an absolute enemy to gun owners and to the Second Amendment. And now he's not bragging about he's not bragging about his votes, but they're his votes nonetheless. Go look up Senate file 2909, look up House File 4300. Look these bills up. He took the votes, and now he's trying to pretend that he did not. And to the gun voters out there, gun owners only need to flip four seats in the entire state to get the House back in pro-gun control. District 18A is a major a uh, major one of those districts that's in swing. It can go either way. So now that you have the information on where Jeff Brand stands and what he's done on Second Amendment issues, I want you to go out, vote pro-gun, vote in support of the Second Amendment. That's what we're about. We're an issue advocacy organization. Bring your wife, your kids, if they're 18, I guess, or older. Bring your uncle. Bring your neighbor and vote pro-gun.